Hey there friends, it's Kodiak here. Welcome back to Legacy Gaming and welcome to Elden Ring. Like much of the world, Livin and I are excited to dive into Miyazaki's new open world adventure, but here's the deal. We just received our copy of the game and instead of rushing to put out garbage, we're gonna make sure every video we put out helps you in some way take on this incredible new adventure. And let's be clear, it is incredible. As you know, we never like to bury the lead, so let's just cut right to the chase. If you're playing Elden Ring and you're just starting out on your adventure, you absolutely shouldn't touch this chest right here, unless you're up for a serious challenge. No joke, casual or hardcore, this chest can leave you stuck, not knowing what to do or where to go next. Once you ascend and enter Limgrave, the world is yours to explore, and I bet a fair number of you will make your way to the Dragon Burnt Runes just east of the first steps. If you manage to clear the enemies wandering about, you'll of course find yourself heading down into the crypt below. I mean, who could blame you? Sitting there all inconspicuous is a treasure chest. And no friends, it's not a mimic we're talking about. It's a damn teleportation chest, one that will trap you and send you to the other side of the map. When you come out the other side, you'll emerge in the Celia Crystal Tunnel. And trust me when I say, you do not want to be here. I think Livid got stuck for around two hours before he realized how to escape. So here we are, putting together a short video to warn you all about our missteps. Again, if you like a challenge, then maybe this is for you. There's no shortage of upgrade materials to be found if you're skilled enough to survive the onslaught of high level enemies. Now you might think, okay, tunnel. The only way to get out is to go up and you'd be dead wrong. I mean, sure, there is a boss up there, the Falling Star Beast, but you're nowhere near ready to take that on at this point. No, to escape, all you need to do is to sneak down the path hug the outside wall the entire time to avoid the creepy bug warden things and make it to the site of Lost Grace. Be sure to rest here. If you don't, you'll be hard locked out of your fast travel and you won't be able to go anywhere. From here, you can continue on the path until you're outside in the swamp of Aeonia. From here, you should be able to fast travel back to the western part of the map and a more stable, well stable enough for a Souls game, footing. Anyways, friends, you know our style, short, sweet, and to the point, and that's exactly what we'll be bringing you in the weeks and months ahead as we crack open every secret Elden Ring has to offer. If you appreciate videos like this and the work we do behind the scenes to bring them to you, we'd appreciate the support. Hit that thumbs up, leave us a comment, and consider subscribing. We'll have plenty more coming your way, and you don't want to miss out. You can also join us on Discord. We're slowly building up our Elden Ring section of the community, and we'd love to have more Tarnished in there hanging out and sharing secrets. You can check out that link in the description below. Finally, if you like everything we're doing here on the channel and you want to support us even more, you can do so by becoming a member. For just a couple bucks, you're helping Livid and I achieve our dreams of becoming full-time content creators. Check out that link below to learn more. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on.